Today we're going to scan the E190 side skirt with the Einstar HX. It's a laser scanner. Uh, it's really good. It does whatever everything I needed to do. Previously I had two other scanners from Einstar. They were, were they were good, but not for what I was using it for. They're good for really small stuff, not really complex items. And this is their cheapest laser scanner. We're going to be doing it in 0.5 millimeter detail. Each point is going to be 0.5 millimeters away from each other. And there's going to be millions of points. You could do higher. There's really no point to it on like such a large piece. And it's it's really hard to process after. This laptop already has 64 gigs of RAM. And with 0.5 millimeter uh, spacing between each point, it's really, it's already struggling. The first thing you want to do is just clean up the area. Because of the spacing between the points is so small, any like small small amount of dirt, it's it's gonna get picked up. This is not small amounts of dirt, so five minutes later. Just give it a quick wipe down here before before I start laying the markers onto the car. This, the laser scanner needs markers. It needs to know where it's at. It uses those markers to figure out its orientation and everything. These markers I'm using right here, I bought off Amazon. They're mag magnetic markers. So it's just stick on any metal object, which is fantastic. It's much better than the ones that come with this that are stickers. Uh, you'll see why it's much better later in the video, because I have to use the stickers on the plastic side skirt. So let's get into scanning here next. Once I laid all these markers down. Before we actually start scanning, I'd like to scan the marker positions or where I placed all the markers first. Uh, it's a little another feature on the scanner uh, it really helps um, improve the accuracy and just makes the scan go by much quicker and easier it only takes like a minute or two it's quick you know to be very detailed with it just move, move the scanner around a couple times and just hit mesh then once you mesh it, it takes like 10 seconds we'll mesh it here quickly boom done so now you switch over to laser mode and this is the actual scanning part of what's going to pick up all the features and crevices of the car. So once you turn it on here, uh, you see the blue laser start flashing. Uh, you don't really see that in real life. It's more of a constant laser. As you can see, the scanner is picking up everything pretty quickly. It's much, much faster than the other two scanners I had previously. Much, much faster actually. Uh, you don't, you, you can move pretty fast. I like to move just so you know steady rate not too fast not too slow and it really picks everything up just go back back and forth a couple times make sure you grab everything uh you also want to you might want to switch up the modes later i think later on in the video i'll switch it to dark mode all the dark area that helps it change the settings and the scanner still picks up dark areas as you can see that between the door and like the bottom where the bottom skirt is supposed to attach it's not really picking it up, so that'd be a dark location. There's also another thing you could do. Uh, you could use a scanning spray, just a white powder. You can spray on and from like a spray can, and it'll be there for like 15 minutes. It's a white powdery spray. Uh, you can make your own baby powder and stuff that works too. But the lower end ones really need it sometimes with like darker objects. I know that from first hand experience. This not so much, but if you if you really want it you can do it it just helps improve it so here i'm just quickly picking up the remaining mounting points that are under the car uh i, I probably added a couple extra markers because they kept losing position as you can see it's too close or it lost tracking just getting underneath the car quickly getting all the points all the dark areas it wasn't picking up earlier uh i, I should talk the the other scanners had a lot, but they're they're pretty good. Uh, not meant for car stuff, for small knickknacks, or if you're really good at 3D modeling, it gets you like 80% of the way there. But uh, I'm new to all of this, so this the laser scanner really really helps a lot and makes it much easier for me, and I don't have to worry about changing dimensions or anything in CAD after I have no CAD experience. So I finished up scanning the mounting points for the side skirt. Now it's time to scan the side skirt. I'm just going to put it up on a bungee here. Suspend it in midair. 
Uh, it's much better like this to scan it. There's nothing around. It's not the scanner's not going to pick up random objects that are close by to it. Uh, now we got to put stickers on it. I hate stickers. You got to use them if it's not like a piece of metal and you can use the magnetic ones. There are other alternatives. Like you could put stickers on like a fishnet type of uh, material, like a mesh, and then throw that on objects. But I don't want to be cleaning up mesh over an object. It's it's, it's too much time. So I'm going to spend probably like five, ten minutes here just sticking up the whole side skirt, both sides. I did take this to the car wash to power wash it before putting the stickers on, get all the dirt off. So the hard part with scanning the side skirt is how thin it is. I can't put three or four stickers on like the transition side, the small side of the side skirt. You'll see here soon, I'll try moving to the other side to pick up the markers and I'm losing detection. So I'm going down, lost, lost the markers, trying to go over the other side. It doesn't know what's happening, where it's at. So when stuff like this happens, you want to try finding a spot where you could point the scanner at both sides at the same time. Luckily, this the top of the side skirt had an area where I could do this. Also, uh, having the side skirt positioned like this, I'm not going to pick up all the detail in the bottom and the top of the side skirt. So eventually I'll just shove the side skirt in, in between the ladder so I can properly scan the top and the bottom. The orient like once you've scanned all the markers once and you don't move the markers around, you can move the object in any which way you want and the scanner will know what position and where it's at. So it's totally fine. You don't have to delete a scan or anything. You can just continue off from there. So here, I'm just quickly scanning the top, getting all the detail, as much detail as I can, because I can use that as a transition edge. And then as you can see, it's pretty quick. Nothing, nothing crazy. The part is a light color, so it has no issue picking anything up. With this part, I shouldn't have any, well, any post-processing to do after this. It should just be one solid, like, water-type part. Uh, other parts, you, you might have to, you know, cut some stuff out. Like, let's say I just laid this down on the floor and was just scanning it. I would have to, you know, crop out all the concrete underneath. Or the scanner is going to pick it up and it'll take a long time to process. With this laser scanner here, uh, if you do the have a good real good quality scan, you could essentially just print it out. I've done that before with other small parts. Like I've used a mirror cap just to test out the scanner when I got it. Scanned it once, made sure it's really good solid. Just did a little bit of finishing work, just cropping a little stuff in the background, and then sent it straight to the printer. And it's and it's spot on. You you won't even know the difference. So here I rotated it and shoved it in the ladder just to pick up the remaining edges on the side skirt. The issue here was I didn't put any markers on top of the side skirt. You can put markers on after the fact that you've scanned the, all the marker positions. It just, it doesn't work as well. So it's kind of a pain. But next video, I'll show you guys how to 3D print car parts.